hi guys welcome back again to more glint youtube channel if you are coming across this channel for the first time i say a very big welcome to you and to my returning viewers you guys rock today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful center not gele style it's a very beautiful and classic gele style so we're making it in an auto gele so kindly stay tuned as i teach you the easy steps and simple method involved thank you So this is the pieces i'll be using for my frame that has been cut out and stitched together so it's of the same measurements so since it's the center knot so the measurements are equal for both the right and the left part so that's the part i'll be using for my handle so the measurement is 35 25 24 so let me show you what i'll be using for my base so i'll be using a round piece base i have this story on my channel i'll drop the link as well so this is the part i'll be using for my frame so like i said earlier is of the same measurement since it's a center knot so both parts the right left are going to be equal so from the down part i have 35 24 25 as you can see they are both equal they are both equal it's a center knot so the measurement is the same and that's the part i'll be using for my angle so now let's start pleating so i'll be starting with the right side so like i do say I'll be starting from the velcro tape side and it's going to slantly play. So I'll be folding an inch in first. So that's the vector side. That's where I'll be stopping at. And I'll place it slantly. And you can see where the handle will be where the handle is starting from. So that is where I'll be stopping at. Where the second pieces is stopping. That's where I'll be stopping at. Yes. So that is where and it's going to slantly place. So that side is where I'll be pinning down now. It is placed beside the vector tape and at the center, since it's the center knot, I'll be stopping at the middle. So I'll just moving just a few inches away from the middle. So I'll be pinning it down from there and I'll be pinning it down at the vector tape side. So that's where I'll start my stitch from running to start my to start making my loose stitch on it. So I'll be stitching it down to the vector tape side. Then I, then I have my frame neatly attached to my base before I start pleating. So just brush out, I'll be stitching it down to the vector shape side. And note guys, it must be slantly placed. Don't forget that it must be slantly placed or neat. When it comes to the side, it must be slantly placed. So now that I have it stitched together, finished, you can see that the side is slantly placed and that's the midpoint. So I'll be doing the other side, same way, the left side too, the same way, slantly placed and to stop at the vector step side. And at the middle, I'll just move just about half an inch away from the center. That is where I'll be stopping at, at the middle. Then don't forget it's must be slanted please when it comes to the side and it will be on the last lane of the pleat. I have six pleats here, so it is on the last pleat. That is where I'll be placing the frame on. On the last pleat, then slightly placed at the side. Then I'll start my stitch. So I'll run it down to the end of the frame side at the vector tip side that's where I'll be stopping at. The same way I did the right, that's what I'll be doing to the left side as well. So having done that, I'll move it and I'll start pleating. So just make sure it is slightly placed. Even if it is shifting, you try to make sure you bring it back right on track. This must be on the last pleat and slightly placed. You can see I'm emphasizing on that slightly. So the slightly placed by when it comes to the side. When it comes to the side, it will be slightly placed. Then you stop at the vector tape side. And that's all, guys. Then you can move and start splitting. Just watch how I'm stitching it down. Now that I have it all stitched together and attached the frame neatly then i'll be sewing i'll be tying the handles together you can see the handles now i'm tying the handles together so i can have access to the upper part of the frame for pleating so now i can start my pleats 
so if you know how to tie gilet this is going to be a very an extra advantage to you to be so easy for you but all the same you can check my channel there are different kind of videos on how to pleat and tie gilet on yourself diy videos that you can check on how to tie gilet so we start your pleat so i'll be stopping at the middle the second pleat the midpoint of the second pleat that's where i'll be stopping at since i'm just pleating the half part first before pleating the other part so i'll be stopping at the middle and the middle falls at the second pleat the second piece so the middle of the second piece that's where the middle of the whole entire fabric is so that's where i'll be stopping at now and i think i'm at the middle right now that's where i'll be stopping so i'll try and gather the pleats at the upper part then stitch down i'm trying to i'll be using a needle and thread to hold all the pleats together to avoid for love temporarily for now before i continue my pleats so with that i'm securing the pleats together so that it doesn't fall off or it doesn't cause a distraction for me while attending to the lower part which is the neckline part so while this place is well gathered and stitched together then i can move to the down part to pleat down So now, same way, I'll just, but instead of tacking down, I'll be using a pin to hold it down. So I can have access to the upper part then paint. So I'll be doing the other side first. I'm doing it simultaneously so that it looks equal and the same. So before then, before pleating, I'll, I'll make my knots. So you can see i'm taking the fabric at the midpoint of both of both parts then i'll tie so if you don't get that part you can just rewind down and rewash that side the way i pick both handles at the edge then tie so while tying you have to make sure the knots you have tying must be must end at the back so you neatly gather it at the front then you end it at the back you don't want your knot the tie the way you ended it to be in the front so after gathering then i can now continue to pleat the other parts of the fabric i can't overemphasize it it has to be neatly tied so now you can now move forward so the other part that I, I actually use the needle and thread i remove the thread then continue for me my pleats this time around i'll be pleating to the end of the fabric then i'll pleat down at the neckline too to form my c that beautiful c cover the side that makes it look as if it is inside it must be well curved so now i'm gathering it at that side to make sure my c is seen then i can now stitch so that is from the back i'm trying to pick the pleats one after the other not making sure none of the pleats is missed out so that it can be well placed and neatly and perfectly tied together so it can i can have a beautiful gilly i don't want it looking like a cap so now that i have it well gathered then i'm stitching it down this time i'm stitching it down permanently to my so having know that i can continue pleating gathering my pleat this time around i'll be gathering it towards the north side the center knot so i'll gather from the front then make sure what i'm gathering is actually gathering at the back too so i'll pleat carefully making sure i'm not missing out on any pleat at all that must be well noted so having done that i'll be ending it on the knots on the center knot since i'm since this one is just the center knot without ruffle so there's no need for me to make any ruffle i think when i'm it is it's going to be with ruffle i'll start my ruffle first before tying it down since i'm doing this without ruffle 
so i'm just going to end it on the knot on the center knot so make sure it is well stitched and tacked down properly so avoid fall off So guys, if you to subscribe to my channel, can you do so? Please guys, subscribe, like, and share our videos with your family and friends so they can get to learn from the beautiful videos that we have on our channel. And please guys, don't forget to turn your notification bell so as to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you guys for always staying to. Thank you guys for always supporting this little channel of mine. So I'm trying to find a way to attach my to end my knot on the base but i'll be pinning now for my uh, temporarily with a pin so after stitching all the stitchable and gathering all the pleats then i can now tack it down permanently to the base so right now i'll be doing what i did to the side i'll be doing to the left side as well so i gather my pleats so after doing all that and at the c the next line side the c has been curved and well gathered then i can move forward to gathering my pleats with a loose stitch i'm running a loose stitch around the place to gather it together you don't want to make a tight stitch so that your your pleats are not squeezed together so you have to make it loose as possible as it can be so that you can have a very fine gilly so now that I will be pleating and running a loose stitch permanently, but it has to be very loose as possible as it can be, so that your pleats are not squeezed together. So basically, that's what I'll be doing at the side. So I'll I'll do this and same to the other side as well to the other angle. So right now that that has been done i think i did about three to four stitch to hold the pleats together then i'll try and gather the pleats to the center knots so it's not like it's a rough but it's looking like rough kind of but i'm just trying to gather the remaining passes i'm not pleating to the center center knot side so i'm just making some kind of squeeze in between so I'm trying to gather and end both angles together and join both angles together on the center knot. So I'll be using a needle and thread to hold down temporarily so I can gather and make sure all is in place before tacking down permanently. So let me just do all the adjustable, make all the necessary adjustments I can make right now before tacking down permanently. So right now that I have it done and I think this is actually beautiful. This is what I will have after tacking down. Then I'm going to check from the back as well to see what I have. So this is actually nice from the back view as well. So right now I can start tacking down. So I'll continue my loose peak stitch around the pleat. I get to the center knot where I'll be tacking the ropes I have in between. It looks like ruffle though, but it is not ruffle. So I'll just be running loose stitch around it at that side too, then tacking it down to the knot. You see the way we are carrying our needle is also the same way we do when we are making our ruffle. It must be in between. We have to carry the thread in a way that it will not show that 
the red thread and the thread will not be showing there has to be in between So I'll just run my stitch round, 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 and make sure all the rocks are packed together, attached to the center. Then, when I'm guaranteed the hole is stick and attached together, stickly attached together, then I can add my stitching. So now I'm very sure none of this is going to fall out. So for this side, I'll be ending it here. So then I'll come to this side. So all I did to this side is what I'll be doing to the other side now. So I'll be doing it to the left side and I'll come and show. So after all the necessary stitching, this is what I have. All has been stitched and tacked together. You can see how beautiful it is. You can see the center notch has been attached to the base, and all the pleats are permanently attached. The knot is attached to the base too as well. In front, then my pleats are well gathered at both sides. So you can see how beautiful it is from the front to the back to the side to the neckline. All the teeth has been marked and the eyes has been dotted. So now, tie my center knot with me. So you can see, this is how you're going to tie it if you're tying it on your head. Then you just use my manicure so you tape down at the vector tape side today. If you're covering your head, if you're bringing your hair out. So right now, we have come to the end of this beautiful tutorial. Thank you all for staying tuned. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like our videos, share with your family and friends. And please on the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. Till next time, bye bye.